Hi, welcome back to another video from CampingAndFishingCalifornia.com. I'm Randy with another great product for you. This is called the Renogy 100 Watt Suitcase Portable Solar Panel, and it's probably one of the greatest pieces of equipment yet that we have bought for our camping experiences. So the first thing I want to show you is this cover that it comes in. Very sturdy, very well built. I tend to put the product away after I use it every day. And uh, so it's kind of nice to have a cover for the solar panel to sit in and uh, keep it well protected. So you simply unzip the, unzip the case. Put it to the side, and there you go. You can see the uh, suitcase portable solar panel. Simply undo the clips, and there's the back side of it. Now you'll see that it comes already put together. Um, it comes with this controller that is on a hinge so that during the day when you want to monitor it and check out how your panel is producing you can simply swing that out and uh, observe what's going on also comes together connected with an outlet or with a uh, anderson connection well i think the next thing that we need to do is go ahead and put the legs out on this and get it ready to uh, hook up to our batteries Legs come with uh, wing clips or with wing nuts and uh, nylon washers, so it's um, actually uh, pretty sturdy once you put the legs out and set it down. So let's go ahead and uh, turn this thing around and get it ready to hook up. Well, as you can see, our battery setup consists of two six-volt batteries, and that's why they're hooked up in series and not parallel like uh, they would be if they were two 12-volt batteries uh, hooked up together. So the alligator clips come uh, already uh, hooked up to an uh, Anderson connection, and uh, you can see the, the red is on the positive of the first battery, and the negative is on the negative of the secondary battery. So now we're going to go ahead and just hook this thing together. And there you go. Now we're ready to now we're ready to check out the panel. Incidentally, these gator clips are constructed well enough to where I just generally leave them connected during our travel. You can see I have a notch in my battery cover for the wires to come out and so I just leave this clip right where it's at um, while we travel and that way I don't have to keep taking my cover off and, and unlocking the cable and everything. It's always right there ready to, to use. And like I said, these clips have never come off while I've been driving. They've always stayed intact. So just another tidbit. The first thing that I wanted to show you on this controller is it does come with a backup battery capability. And as you can see, I've put a battery in mine. It's the, the battery is the CR1220 and uh, that's what mine came in. I got mine from Radio Shack. Like I said, the CR1220. Only cost three or four bucks, not very expensive. And uh, it's always good to have that battery in there because it uh, keeps everything uh, backed up that you, all the data that you enter. So as you can see, our panel is live. The digital display is up and running so that indicates that we're connected. You can see the battery charging and the light the little light thing over here on indicating that it's good to plug a load into if you want to. Now the first thing like I said that comes up is your display of the time and the date. Now in order to change that to your current date and time when you do install yours for the first time you'll just hit menu, go down to number two device set, hit enter and there's your date right there and you can change it using these up and down keys today is the 23rd 
of October 2014. In order to change those numbers up and down, and I have a feeling it's probably going to ask me for password here, but you just simply, yep, it did. There's the password, and I don't know why, but at this point it always asks you for your user password. And um, the default password is 000000. So you simply just hit enter to go through that. It'll come up with password correct, hit enter again, it'll take you back to your date. Now, to manipulate those numbers up and down, just hit the up and down uh, buttons and uh, just go through all, each number hitting enter after you get the right correct or the uh, correct number entered and then it'll go down to the time and you can set the time also and at the end of it it'll ask you if you want to save it hit enter again save success and it takes you back to your next item to to do now backup light or the backlight it's at 60 seconds I've always just left it there in fact I want to get out of this menu and show you something else so go back to uh, just hit menu to go back and it'll take you back to the main menu so here we are at uh, the fifth item on the menu which is rated value when you hit enter it'll take you over to your battery setup and you can see it defaults to auto and after reading the manual I've just left mine there the next item is your amp hours now our setup is uh, two six volt batteries and together they give us around 220 amp hours and then the next item, and, and you'll just want to put in your amp hours. The reason why you want to do this is because um, your controller needs to know exactly what type of setup you have, how many amp hours your, your batteries put out, and what type of batteries your, yours are, so that it knows specifically how to charge those batteries and what the limitations are on them. So the next thing it'll take us down to is type, type of battery. Well, ours are uh, flood batteries and so um, they're the batteries that have the caps on them that you can take and add water to but you might have a gel battery or a sealed battery and you simply just hit enter for which, whichever battery you have so then it'll ask if you want to save hit enter save success so the next thing that we want to look at on the menu would be number one and let's scroll up to that hit enter and it takes you to PV and that tells you what your battery situation is at the current time 12.6 volts and it shows you what your uh, amps are what amps are being charged into your battery I tend to use the second uh, option which is battery and again it shows 12.5 volts in the battery and it shows that I'm getting 2.2 uh, amps right now now mind you that we are in partial shade and uh, watch what happens when I put my hand over the top <laughs> see how it drops Let's see there yeah there you go as I move it over the surface you'll see it drop occasionally pretty amazing okay and the third option that I like to use is temperature and SOC. The temperature is the temperature of your solar panel at the time and SOC is the condition of your panel as far as shade, uh, obstructions, uh, temperature and other things like that. So I monitor that a lot throughout the day. Now this Anderson connection is a really cool thing. Um, your solar panel comes with the Anderson connection connected to both uh, ends of your uh, apparatus so the one thing about Anderson connections are they're a little expensive if you go to actually uh, purchase some and create your own extension but I looked at eBay and I looked at Amazon and eBay was just for some reason at that time were just kind of outrageous so I wound up getting mine off Amazon and I think I paid 650 for one or two I can't remember but when you get these what will happen is you'll need to take the little plug that's down inside. I don't know if you can see that, but the little plug that's down inside, the little metal part, you'll need to connect those to your cable. So you'll need wire strippers and a crimper and um, something to crimp it with. And that's it. Real easy to do. Takes just a few minutes to crimp together and, uh, and then slide into 
the chamber here and when you slide into the chamber you'll uh, you'll hear two clicks two specific clicks the second click lets you know that it's totally in place real easy to do I got the cable at Lowe's probably uh, I'd say around 30 feet and it was a remnant so I got it for like $13 and this cable is 10 to 12 gauge I highly recommend that you get something like 6 to 8 gauge and no smaller than 8 gauge because uh, this will drop my input as I'm charging about uh, maybe a half an amp. So if that kind of thing is important to you and you're getting a very limited amount of sunlight, then you'll want to get the most cluck for your buck. So I would recommend getting probably uh, no, no smaller than 8 on your gauge for your wire. So that's it. We're going to connect this thing up and show you what it looks like out in the full sun. So here we're out in full sunlight and we're on the first item in the menu which is monitoring. I hit enter and I hit the down arrow and there it takes me to battery. As you can see we're at 13.7 volts and currently charging at 5.8 amps. But like I was just telling you with that extension that I created using a smaller gauge more than likely if, if that gauge was between six and eight I would probably be up around 6.2, 6.3. Well again I'm Randy from CampingAndFishingCalifornia.com and I really appreciate you joining us taking the time out of your day to check out this product and peruse our website. If you have any questions or comments at all please just leave them at our website or wherever you saw this video and we'll get back to you. Just a few little tidbits on this. Um, when we were camping this year, we were out for five to six weeks. Generally, by the second, maybe third week, we would run our generator uh, two hours in the morning, three hours at night, just to keep our batteries charged. But with this product, we fired our generator up for an hour in the morning around eight o'clock for coffee and curlers and then left it off the rest of the day. This thing was that potent and worked that good to where it kept our batteries topped off the whole time so we could listen to stereo whenever we wanted to. We could run the lights whenever we wanted to. And this thing really, really perfor performed just, just top notch. One thing that we have done in our trailer is we've changed out some of the light bulbs for the LED lamps and that has really helped quite a bit also. So again, thanks for joining us. We really appreciate you spending time with us and hope to see you again real soon.